Today's episode is more than just a restoration project, this antique butter churn has been in the family for more than 100 years and I'm finally going to adapt it to fit this century's demands. The rust this object carries isn't just the weight of centuries engraved on it but rather the testament of its glorified history and stoic survival throughout the years. Finding such an object in great condition is just as rare as hen's teeth, that's why the only solution is to thorough restore it with the hope of bringing its old charm back. Passed down from my great-grandmother to my grandmother and so on, this antique butter churn has witnessed countless batches of creamy butter and heard endless laughter and stories shared around the kitchen table. While this object is just so important for me, I'm trying to be as detailed and careful as I can. Now it's time to restore the top part of the churn while I just can't help but remember the many times I helped my grandmother make butter with it. Each rusted spot tells a tale, that's why I'm trying to remove its rust but preserve its authenticity as much as possible. What I'm attempting to do is to bring this once cherished kitchen tool the important spot it had in our family's kitchen. I'm setting aside the rotary tool and starting to use an emery cloth to carefully file inside the holes. While using different tools, trying to be precise and being concentrated as ever before, waves of nostalgia just come flooding back. With each careful file and repair, I'm not just restoring an object, but reviving cherished moments and preserving a piece of my own history. I'm back to using a rotary tool to make sure this part of the butter churn has a smooth texture. Using a small brush to gently remove the dust while continuing the file the object. The top part looks just as it was 100 years ago when created for the first time. My next step is to soak these rusty details of the object in white vinegar. The rust is putting quite a fight but white vinegar just won't give up, I'm also ready to assist it with my precious tools. I'm now using a simple brush to remove the rust from the metallic pieces. No restoration project has fulfilled or will fulfill me just as this one, I feel a real sense of obligation to take care of it and be committed to pass it down to future generations. This cherished heirloom is a bridge connecting me with the past and guiding me towards the future. Tradition is surely something that needs to be honored and preserved fanatically through the years. On the other side, restoring my family's old butter churn makes me feel just as much responsible as I felt when I was a little boy helping my mother or sometimes even grandmother to make butter. And now as a grown man, I have the same feeling of being productive and contributing to the family by not letting this object be forgotten. The true value of this butter churn lies in the stories it holds but my job is to restore its physical beauty as much as possible. I'm painting the top part of the churn black because this was the most common color of the object back in time.
Moving on to coloring these details black as well. I'm covering the handle with some tape to make sure it doesn't get painted along the way because I want a piece of the butter churn to have that rustic finish. Letting the pieces to dry up and removing the tape from the handle. I'm covering the rustic handle with a shiny finish to make it look like a new one. The plunger of the butter churn didn't pass the test of time and isn't as functional as the other parts, that's why I'm creating a new one that will resemble the original plunger. This butter churn is a beautiful blend of old and new, bridging the gap between tradition and modernity. Now I'm assembling all of the pieces together one by one. While restoring this butter churn, I couldn't help but imagine the many times I came back home from school or playtime and my grandmother made me a quick snack with some freshly churned butter on warm bread. The only part that stoically fought with time and didn't give up was the glass part. What's left for me is to just clean it and remove any rusty spot. The last step of the restoration process is to dry the glass part and assemble all of the pieces together in one. I'm giving the butter churn a quick test before heading to the kitchen. Now that the antique butter churn is fully restored, it's time to find its place in a modern kitchen and make butter just like in the old times. The rich cream is transforming into golden butter and filling the room with such an amazing aroma. The child inside me is happy as ever that such a piece of history is all functional and can now be used on a daily basis. I hope you guys enjoyed both my story and restoration project.